Hello, my name is uh, Kostas Papaspiropoulos. I come from Greece and together with uh, my professors, Karamanolis and Christodoulou, we present uh, today for uh, the IA4 conference in Brighton their research uh, with the title Evaluating Material Flow Cost Accounting Method for Energy Efficiency in the Forest Sector. As we all know, resource efficiency is one of the crucial aspects in the production process of public and private sector. It's a, it affects society on the road to sustainability. And several methods have been suggested for reducing energy use, such as uh, life uh, cycle assessment and environmental or energy accounting uh, methods. The forest sector is a sector which works for producing environmentally friendly products through sustainable forest management. It is a sector with an environmental mandate, that means that people expect from this sector to be more responsible when it comes to the production of its products and services. So it has to take into account the negative environmental impacts produced by each production process. Uh, meaning that uh, it should be accountable for the material and energy use that uh, uh, it uh, makes in the So there are some products and services produced by the forest uh, sector. The products are mainly timber and its industrial products and some non-timber forest products uh, like some fruits from uh, forest trees. The services are distinguished to carbon sequestration services, land protection, protection from erosion and floods, and environmental law enforcement, which is uh, produced by the forest rangers in the forest service. The previous research has uh, understood uh, the need to uh, to estimate uh, the energy use in production process of uh, the forest sector, but uh, he, little previous research has been done on this issue and it has focused mainly on timber production energy use. For example, Gonzalez and Garcia and uh, the co-writers, co-authors of the work have estimated uh, that uh, only for the log operations of timber from plantations, the energy used for timber production may vary from 115 to 155 megajoules per cubic meter solid underbark. While Bolokore and uh, the co authors uh, uh, have uh, estimated that uh, the timber and wood chip production process in a, locally, in a local forestry system in Italy emits less greenhouse gases than the local carbon capacity for carbon mitigation. We explore if a method arising from industry sector, like material flow cost accounting, can assist forest managers in reducing energy use in the process of environmental law enforcement, and we evaluate if MFCA is suitable for finding out the sources which produce the inefficiencies and externalities in the production process of uh, this service in the public forest service in Greece. We will see some things about the theory of material source flow cost accounting and uh, the public forest service in Greece. So, material flow cost accounting is a method which helps environmental managers to track inefficiencies in the production process. It promotes the better allocation of wastes and to their responsible products. It is one of the environmental management accounting framework approaches and it can be used in service and non profit sector. It is based on input output analysis and the principle what goes in must go come out. An organization should track all the material inputs and all the outputs of its production process and physical units. Material inputs are the raw and auxiliary materials, merchandise and packaging, operating materials, energy and water. The outputs are the finished goods, 
services, the byproducts, the emissions, and waste. So the non-product output, which uh, is of our interest here in the research, is defined as any output which does not leave the organization as a manufactured physical product. All these inputs and outputs have some uh, costs, and uh, the environmental cost categories of the method are distinguished in the following material costs of product outputs, material costs of non product outputs, waste and emission control costs, prevention and other environmental management costs, research and development costs, and less tangible costs. These costs can be assigned cost categories, cost centers, and cost careers. They are afterwards distributed to the environmental domains which they affect, such as air and climate, wastewater, waste, biodiversity, and soil and ground. Public forest service in Greece. Its main mission is the provision of forest commodities and services to society. This objective may differ among countries, among states in the same country and throughout the year. The Greek Public Forest Service uh, management, forest management is focused on timber production, taking into account the principles of multiple use forestry and sustainable production. And it enforces environmental law by employing more than 1,000 forest rangers in Greece. The environmental law in Greece is rather strict. The forest rangers work for preventing illegal logging, illegal hunting, illegal clearing of forest land and the waste disposal in natural environment. So, for the evaluation, two methods were used. Research on the production process of environmental law enforcement in the forest service and an interview with an expert forester in the forest service who collects the Forest statistics data in voluntary basis for producing an activity report of forest service. In the first method, MFCA theory was analyzed with the objective of finding out if and to what extent it could be applied to the production process of environmental law enforcement. And the second method, in the second method, we presented the principles of MFCA to the expert forester and asked his opinion if MFCA can be applied to this. So, the environmental law enforcement production process is like this. The inputs are mainly forest rangers, workforce, forest service cars, and fuel consumption. While the outputs are patrolling forest ecosystems, controlling prosecution, for these cases in which uh, forced crime has occurred, and CO2 emissions. So one main non-product output is distinguished. So this is energy. During the production process of the service, energy is used as fuel consumption for the pattern of the forest ecosystems. The energy that is used does not become a manufactured physical product, and according to MFCA theory, it is a non product output. Forest service should collect the data of fuel consumption and assign the relevant quantity to the service. This will be the material costs of non product outputs. This is an efficiency of the production process, which may imply some of the other environmental costs that we saw before, uh, such as uh, waste and emission uh, prevention costs and uh, prevention for mitigating these costs. So some initiatives for reducing this quantity and the cost uh, that uh, incurs with this should be found without, of course, sacrificing the law enforcement efficiency. Of course, these costs have a negative uh, impact on the air environment. Forest managers can control these costs annually and make decisions on its management. 
they could fly to the frequencies in energy use in some regions, for example, large fuel quantities used and little work on law enforcement produced in some regions. And then FCA seems quite appropriate for analyzing the whole process of this service production and using it for cost reduction. So we asked the opinion of the expert forester about all this. Was he aware of material flow cost accounting? Unfortunately, he was not aware of the method. He agreed that energy flows are important, but he thought that new stuff is needed in forest service with such knowledge. He never thought that fuel consumption is a non-product output with negative environmental impacts that bear significant costs for the forest service that may be inefficiently used in the production process and that its better management can reduce the operating cost of forest service. Forest service does not collect the data on quantities of fuel used and the forester believes that this can be done in the future, however, there is no official statistics department in the forest service that could do this work. So we explored if MFCA is suitable for estimating the energy efficiency in the production process of environmental service. Uh, this service was law enforcement. Two methods were used, the first according to the MFCA theory and the second according to the opinion of an expert forester. It was found that there are no products outputs, that there are non, excuse me, non products outputs and uh, emissions of the process that MFCA can ident identify and estimate. These energy quantities can be managed for cost reduction. MFCA is a potentially useful method for energy efficiency in the forest sector. However, the expert forester doubted that in the current structure of forest service in Greece, MFCA could be used. There is no relevant personnel to use it, and there is no statistics department to collect the data needed. Future, future research should be focused on a case study with real data from the local forest office for testing the applicability of MFCA and probably some guidelines uh, which simplify the method should be created and given to the forest service. I would like to thank uh, the EQ, this is the Greek State uh, uh, Scholarship Foundation for the Fellowships of Excellence for uh, Postgraduate Studies in Greece, Siemens program for funding for this research. And I would like to dedicate uh, this uh, uh, work to my professor, uh, Professor Christopoulou, who passed away on the 10th of uh, March after a short uh, fight with a uh, serious illness. I would like to also thank you for attending uh, this presentation. For questions, uh, you can uh, send me an email to this mail that you can see in this slide. Thank you very much.